Next, remove the valve rotators, cotters, and valve springs in order to remove the exhaust valve from the detached cylinder head. To remove the cylinder head, use the dedicated tools shown here. First, fix the valve spring installation and removal tools A and B to the fuel valve attachment bolts using extraction tool B. Twist the bolt and remove the cotter while holding down the valve rotator and valve spring. Turn the bolt in the reverse direction and decompress the valve spring. After detaching the dedicated tool, remove the valve rotator and valve spring. Lay the cylinder head and draw out the suction and exhaust valve. Extract the stem seal fitted in the valve rocker arm. At the same time, remove any carbon on the combustion surface. Check the combustion surface in the suction and exhaust valve by a penetrate test for cracks. Check for sulfuric acid corrosion and bending of the suction exhaust valve stem and high temperature corrosion of the valve poppet and also rub the valve and its seats. Improper rotation of the valve rotator will cause carbon to become trapped in the valve seat. This can cause valve seat blow-by and shorten the service life of the valve and valve seat. Consequently, you should periodically overhaul and check the valve rotator. Let's review the procedure. It's possible to disassemble the rotator into the body, ball plate, Belleville spring and spring shoe by removing the circlip. Clean the disassembled parts with washing oil. After cleaning, check each part for abrasions or corrosion. If you find any damaged parts, replace them. At this time, marking the rotator will make it easy to confirm the revolution during operation. Check the valve seat and see if it's over usage limit. Renew it. Build up the whole circumference of the valve seat face by arc welding to remove the valve seat. If it is difficult to remove, weld an iron plate and hammer out the valve seat with a round rod driven into the valve guide. Insert an O-ring into a new valve seat and cool the assembly with a cooling conductor. Just before inserting the valve seat, apply the anti-seize and the silicone-based liquid packing into the hole of the cylinder head. Insert the valve seat, 
In doing so, use the valve to fit it quickly. After having replaced the exhaust valve seat, be sure to conduct the hydraulic test and check that no water leaks from the mated parts. After a complete check, reassemble the cylinder head with necessary replacements. Incorporate a new stem seal with the jig. At this time, be careful not to damage the lip of the stem seal. Apply lube oil on suction and exhaust valve and then insert into the cylinder head. Check the marking of the cylinder head to avoid mistakes. Reassemble the valve rocker arm spring, valve rotator and cotter in reverse order to the disassembly. After the reassembly, check the rotator turns smoothly. Make sure to replace the old O-ring of the cooling water connecting pipe of cooling water with a new one before returning the cylinder head to the engine. Also replace the head packing and boost air packing with new ones. Fit the lifting tool of the cylinder head to the tightening bolt of the fuel valve and lift it. Check there are no foreign matters in the cylinder and return the cylinder head to the engine. Fasten the tightening nut of the cylinder head by the hydraulic jack. The procedure of the hydraulic jack is the same way when assembling the tightening nuts of the cylinder head. Return the fuel injection valve by the exclusive tool. Furthermore, assemble each pipe and restore the cylinder head to its original condition. After assembling the cylinder head, adjust the clearance of suction and the exhaust valves in the following procedure. 